Kelly ring rose, Bala could not get a hit to go the loose. And in comes Dallas for the weekend of play. Vander Fleer, James Ryan, Porter, Superb. Jemison gets it. Fumble here for Beelan, but they managed to get away and Jeps against the park. He's now, he's missed it. He's, he's, got, he's got it. Oh! He must have sneaked just inside the post. Oh my goodness, what a climax here in game time. The ball wavered through the air. It looked like it was going wide, it looked like it was going to hit the post. But in the end, it just drifts inside that right hand upright. Penalty for Wales, but Patchell's giving it a go and Danny Kerr has to get across. And the ball is loose. Oh, oh I think he might. I think he may have. The ball's on the ground, the hand's on the ground, there is pressure. For me, that's a try. The yeah. first ground is by England. Ooh. Therefore, it is a. Well, if you want my opinion on the decision, I'll probably ne never work on television again. <laughs> but um, for me, it's 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 a it's a clear cut try. When you say about being in control, being in control of scoring a try is almost the same as downward pressure. Cut through the middle with Cruz. It's loose, but it's not forward. And Esther Hayden tries to bring his nation forward again. Oh. Oh, Farrell. Well, is that a shoulder? He's on a tackle. Come crashing to the floor. Williams gets it off. Thinks it's OK from England's point of view. So does Ben Whitehouse, his assistant. I believe there's enough of a wrap on the far side for it to be a fair tackle. A couple of good breaks against the English, though. And there's a knock on there. They went backwards. The backwards is by Adamson. So a free run to the line for Nick Tunks. See, look at him. Back, yeah. back. <laughs> I'm in, I'm in. You can't stop me. If Try it's, catching it's me. Ten seconds left. There are ten seconds left. And well, James Hook said, have we got time to go for the line out? Chris White said yes. Well, we'll see if it's the right decision. Last, this is the last throw of the dice. Time is up. I have time. Oh, and that's it! The whistle has gone, and that will cause consternation in Wales. I'm sure Wales were convinced that there was time to have the line out. Sexton's boot. Oh, he's caught the fever. He's only been on 20 seconds, and he's kicking as badly as anybody. Well, this Welsh defence are up very quick. They're really not given. They didn't give Ron O'Gara much time on the ball in the first half, and they're not giving sex on any ball. And Mike Phillips, Mike Phillips is away against Tommy Ball. And Phillips fends off four, and Wales have scored. And Ireland are rushing up to the referee. Those are the celebrations. We're just going to wait for Jonathan Kaplan. I think we all need some analysis on that. Jeff Warren of England, your services may be required. Is it the correct call? It is. No need. One instant and one instant only, and it is this. Jonathan Davis, talk us through it. There's the kick into touch. The ball clearly bounces. The spectator catches it there, and just then, keep an eye out for the ball boy. On the left of your screen is going to be highlighted. There he is on the left hand side. Gives the ball. I think it's Matthew Rees. Oh, obviously, a totally different ball. Mike Phillips gets the ball, sprints down the touchline, scores the try, which. Leicester that close to the Leicester line. Stringer puts in. Now, Neil Back seemed to hit that with his hand. It's one against the head, but Stringer went straight to the referee. Leicester get the ball off. 
And Stringer and his teammates still having a go at Joel Jude. Yes, it was the hand of Neil Back. No doubt about it. Sur une action, sur un exploit. On verra si c'est tout à l'heure Christophe Dominici. Allez, la sortie. Bertrand, qui a pris, qui a passé les bras. Frédéric Michalak a du monde à l'extérieur avec Evans qui va retrouver Jossio. Jossio de Promis. Jossio dans le but. Et c'est France. La tournée du bon côté pour libérer Harry Dordogui qui est allé envoyer. Voilà, voilà quand on passe physiquement comme on travaille et qu'on arrive avec la fraîcheur de Michalak qui retrouve à l'intérieur Jossio. C'est du bonheur Oui, oh, Josion qui plonge en terre promise, super à try. Qui est allé, il n'y a pas... Scott Berger is certainly back in international rugby. East yellow. Six. Berger, here he comes, he's up off the floor. Oh, there, Luke Fitzgerald, you can see that. Two minutes remain. Oh, no! In front. The referee has ruled in front. a penalty infringement, the man in front of a Scottish hand, and Australia now has a kick to hit the front. Impossible. It's almost impossible. Instinct doesn't allow you to bring out the instructions to serve at. Full one by Julian Bonner. Sam Warburton, though, with the enormous hit. Step in. And he just takes him, takes Kirk Man and Ball. It's a red card. Sam Warburton has been sent off in a World Cup semi final. The captain has gone. One of the most controversial decisions in the history of us. Oda Barrett picks off. Ball loose. Oh, offside! Offside! The ball came forward from a Lions play. Still feels he's offside. The red touched the ball in the second time and 16 got the ball uh, in front. From our near all the angles. Yeah. Are you happy for the for the knock-on challenge in the affair and a penalty kick against a 16 red in front? Yes, I am. Okay. Fair challenge, oui, Jérôme. Well, the two captains, a little chat. It looks as though the Lions are going to be penalised. We have a deal. We have a deal about the, the offside from 16. Yes. 16? Black or red? Yeah, 16, uh, 16 red, okay? Oh, yeah. We didn't play deliberately the, the ball, okay? It was an accidental offside. No, no. It was an accidental offside. We go for a scrum for black. Remain, remain. Okay. In the rules, it's not an accidental offside. It was. It was. No, no. If you because run the, ball, there, the ball touched him. It wasn't for play. play. Okay. We play for a scrum. Well, it's going to be a scrum. Well, I'm not sure on that.